Alright guys, so I'm about to go back in. I saw the boat this morning. Uh, um, I'm gonna move so those small pines continue up that little ridge that was in front of me on the other side. I'm about to go to the other ridge, climb down and climb on the ridge over I can see that line that he came what I assume he came from this morning and see what I can do uh, he should have been he should have been uh, coming from that way so he comes back Got the seduction in Southern Pine. Go get yours at negativesense.com. We're gonna use it to kill a good bug this afternoon. So I'll stay tuned. I'll see you when I get in the tree.
see what happens. Y'all stay tuned. I'll talk to you about it later. Meh. Guys, I don't know. I normally have more confidence in my shots. But he was right there. And I... He popped up out of that bottom right there. And right there. I, I know he's not in frame, but th this is changing the focus. Free text to Zach. We're going to give this deer time. We got all day. It ain't supposed to rain. We're going to give it time. Deer time, and I don't know when he ran off, he cut and stuff. He heard a loud crash like sound, and then nothing. So maybe he's in there. He's a good buck. I don't know how exactly how big he is. We'll find out, but. or something. Y'all stay tuned. Give me some time to decompress. We'll find out. Where are you going? I got my good one at camp. I got my good one in my pocket, so. Well, I got it. This can get it done. This oh, can yeah. get it done if, it, if that's the case. I'm about to go find this deer. Kay's nervous, but I'm not. I know he knows how to shoot. Yep. Almost as good as me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I probably shouldn't even have shown this little access point. I bet people already know where we was at. Uh, but hey, he's dead. Good. <laughs> you have to be good. No. Anyway, I'm gonna drill on that mountain. I'm just kidding. <laughs> huh? I gotta lock, lock my truck. Alright. Out of the way, guys. I got my big old pack on. I got some uh, Ritz. You got any water in that cooler? No. Gatorade? I don't think I got anything in it. Mmm. We'll see you guys on the mountain. So this is the tree. Yeah. You got well, plenty, plenty of. Yeah, I found the killing tree. You got plenty of cover on that tree. Yeah, there's plenty of it. Plenty of cover. But, well, really, that's your cover. Yeah, a hill. <laughs> yeah. I've been busted by him thinking the same thing, but yeah. you got. But he popped out right there. I mean, he he wouldn't worry about me. Uh -uh. Right there. He's falling it though. So, you see this, these two little saplings and that tall one right there? Yeah. That limb that sticks out? Yeah. The uh, third, second one? The, yeah, the second one in the middle. Yeah. There went right over it. Okay. How high were you? I see where my... Oh, is that where your platform was? Yeah. So you weren't, but... I mean, that's still a steep, steep angle. Well, still a steep angle, but yeah. let's go over and see what we find. Got something. Huh? Just talking to the camera. Got something. Probably. Unless he was still going back that way. He did go through the bottom, so it was, I think it was either right here or right here. And that's yeah. Right here. I'll stay here and let you look for the next spot. and a chunk of fat and nothing else we covered the entire bottom walking in walking through we gave it everything we basically had and I think we basically determined this my hit high and um, probably high shoulder and I all I can do is pray that that deer live. I, I hate it. That's the first buck I've ever had to happen with. Um, I would have looked longer, but also, if you notice, I'm sitting in a shooting house right now and I have sunglasses on. When I was looking for that deer, I stepped on a vine no, on the ground. And it shot a limb, or like a small sapling that had a bunch of little limbs on it, straight into my right eye. And I had been struggling. We were about four, three and a half, four hours away from the house yesterday. And this is one of the most worst pains I've ever been in when it happened and the waves that it happened I basically come to the conclusion with the help of my awesome girlfriend such as a nurse and she has family member this is I care um, that I scratched my eye and luckily with their help I've been 
I got a pair of contacts to kind of act like a band-aid and I've been putting eye drops in my eye like crazy and it is a little bit better this afternoon. I'm not struggling as bad, um, but I'm extremely sensitive to light in their right eye, so that's the reason I am wearing sunglasses and a shooting house. I will, but to drive, I had, luckily I got my truck tinted and um, I was wearing two pairs of sunglasses to be able to drive out here. When I did that, I, you know, I'm perfectly safe, but um, so I was on vacation. I'm in pain still, but it's better. And I said, I'm going to go hunt, even if it's just climbing to a shooting house. Um, but I still hate that about the bug and try this makes me sick but all I can do is pray that he made it um, we put some cameras out in that location so maybe he'll go by there if he's still alive I, I would like a little bit of closure it bothers me but it's part of hunting and I can't stand that part of hunting but it's like I said it's my first first book I've ever had to happen on bow hunting. Um, I've either missed or killed them. That's it. And that, um, that one, that was my first wound. Done it one other time with a rifle when I was really young. But that's it. Um, so I, it just makes me sick. But after getting hit in the eye, I wanted a little more. We tried, we attempted to call dogs to look, but everyone we called was either already out or couldn't come, so um, we made it as good an attempt as we could. And that happened and I had, I, got, I had to leave, I had to get home, I had to try to help my eye. I, uh, I'll be honest with you, I had to drive most of the way home using one eye, and that's not good. It's not probably not the safest thing, but I made sure Zach stayed in front of me the entire time, and I followed him all the way home on back roads, very few towns and areas that we went through. So, um, I don't know. Uh, you can still see it's really red. Um, I think we're on the path of making it better. Hopefully it's good by Monday. If it's not better by Monday, I heal really fast. But if it's not better by Monday, I'll go to the doctor. Um, but it's a struggle. But anyway, we're back in the stand. Next video you see will be me in the same situation for me. And we'll see what happens this afternoon. Y'all stay tuned and thank you for watching 25 High. It means the world to us. And hopefully we can continue to provide y'all what y'all like to see.